Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and today is da 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 day number 50. Wow! <laughs> 365 <laughs> days of awesome. Celebrate success through service. And those people that have been seeing me go live all day long and waiting for number 50 have also seen this woman up on the stage, Woo. one of my heroes and senior advisor to my nonprofit, Sherry Watson. Hey, guys! So may I just gush for a second? May I? Um, I want to just highlight this woman because not only is she my senior advisor for the nonprofit that that I have, Chemo Buddies for Life, she also was one of the chief architects for the Americans with Disability Act. And for those of you that know my personal story, you know how big this is because. That affected my life as a mother, having three children that qualify under that act. So, one of my heroes and everything. So, I'm so proud to recognize Sherry Watson as today's service hero. So, meet Sherry. Wow, what an <laughs> honor. What an honor. And you know, Tamara, we're not heroes. We're all in it together, and, and the, what you're doing is amazing. Taking that step forward, it's like we live in the greatest place in the world. People want to make a difference. They don't know where to start, and it's people like you that step up, that are creating a pathway for others to be a part of what you're doing. Your mission is so powerful. I lost my mom and dad to cancer. I mean... There's not anybody we meet that's not affected. Mm -hmm. And bringing support and a peer support, powerful. So if anything, everything I can do, my 30 years experience, leading nonprofits, building movements, coalitions, it's such an honor yeah, to be a part of what you're doing and all of our other Purpose Pioneers. So you guys, support Chemo Buddies for Life. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the Purpose Pioneers. I want to talk about that, too, because that's part of the mission and part of where you serve. Because you're leading, you're helping not only myself, but your goal is to affect how many nonprofits in your lifetime? Man. You guys, the power of purpose, our mission is to launch and empower at least 10,000 nonprofits. Can you imagine what this world will look like, what we did in disability? Think about this, you guys. I want all of you to listen to this one. We were a group 30 years ago that had no voice, no money, no political power, and we only lived in nursing homes and institutions. We couldn't get out if we wanted. There were no curb cuts, there were no short, short buses, no accessible transportation. Think about it, no, no ramps, no, we couldn't even get into houses, right? And we came together and we were strong in our mission on free our people. We changed the economic landscape of this country instead of paying 100000 for us to live in a warehouse somewhere, in the institution. We lived in the community and became part of the American dream. And so the economics of what we created, and to every day, you guys, to go by, and there's not anywhere I go that you don't see the kind of impact, mm -hmm. the braille on the bathroom doors, the elevator that makes noises so people that are blind know which floor they're on, the stoplights where you crosswalk. I mean, that's the kind of impact everybody here can make in their passion, their purpose. And we talked today, it's about living your purpose. Right. That's why we exist, you guys. And I was so blessed at such a young age Something so tragic, my accident where I had a brain injury and a coma, the whole bit. I was so blessed knowing what we take for granted. Learning the power of my mind when I lay there and they all said, oh, she's in a coma. I was trapped in a body, it couldn't respond. I knew what was going on, I just couldn't tell them. You learn the power of your mind. So now here's the message to you guys, because Tamara's already way on and got it. <laughs> if we could do it in our community, what's your excuse? What's your excuse, guys? 
That's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just love this woman. Can I just say, I just absolutely adore this woman. And I, I just sometimes want to just, I want to pinch myself being one of the luckiest people to have some of the greatest people working with me. You know, I, I'm so lucky to have met my hero, my hero, you know, someone that actually has made such a big difference in my personal life and is now helping me to make a difference in a nonprofit. You know, you have something that's coming up here soon that I know I'm attending Yay. and I cannot wait. But, you know, there, there's, there's, I know that there's a lot of people that come here and, and watch the Facebook Lives that I've been doing in regards to service heroes that are interested in possibly tipping their toe and, and thinking of doing some, you know, going out there with a cause, if it's a, a for-profit company with a cause or a nonprofit and be creating a nonprofit they have something they want to do you have an event coming up why don't you tell us about that you know before I get into that I got to tell you that we are so blessed with people like you coming into our lives and our purpose pioneers you guys there are people like Tamara People like yes. all of you that have said, you know what, it's time to live our purpose. Right. It's time to make impact. We went on our journey for a reason. And when you can find purpose, it's a whole different <laughs> journey. It's a life of abundance. The fulfillment, it's like, I don't care that million dollar real estate check, does not amount to the little elders I have pictures of that lived in nursing homes that now are back home living. So living that life and so blessed we are with all of our purpose pioneers that have stepped up, that are smart, really business people that understand a nonprofit is a business model that there's more money available than any other entity. So build your business. So you guys come and join us. Our Purpose Pioneers, we can't wait. It's like we, we've become a family. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool. They're driving together and they'll be doing selfies going, okay, we're now in Texas. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. okay. So this, we're having August 3rd through 5th. And it's going to be in Las Vegas. Who, baby. Ba <laughs> baby, we got to yeah. have that. Yeah, I had that yeah. on my slide, Las Vegas, baby. Yeah. And um, it's the power of grant money training. You guys, for 30 years, that one nonprofit we started that led into 800, all of our funding, the majority of our funding, was through grant funding. That's how we made systemic change. Think of it at, in your for-profit, you have a business partner that brings in the capital or has the expertise. In the nonprofit world, your business partners are your state agency directors, are your legislators. They have the funding, they want to bring change, mm -hmm. you're the entity, and together, I mean, 30 years later, some of my best friends or state agency directors and Medicaid directors and it's amazing. So the power of grant money, 30 years I've never seen the amount of grant money that's available now. So we're going to spend three days and just, man, we are going to take this to a whole new level. Yep, yep. So if you are considering having a nonprofit, join us. Join me. Let me know. Message me if you have any questions. I'd love to share. Um, I, if you want to get on the phone, you know, meet Sherry. I know she's going to be pretty busy getting ready for this, but we'll make sure that you get a chance to somehow, you know, if nothing else, I'll ask the questions and try to get the answers because, you know, this is a group that we have such an open communication and so that we feel as though we really do have the support that we need that's that's why I can do what I've been doing guys is is I've got some wind beneath my wings so I am so uh, and I just want to highlight right yeah. before we go look, I know it's kind of backwards Rocky <laughs> you're the one that always lets me know but but you know here we go this is and if you haven't noticed her favorite color, you know, <laughs> she, she's always got her purple stuff. And Can so you tell our company 
Yeah, right. We branded purple. Yeah, yeah. So, you so come and join the purple power here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I won't say purple people leader or anything. No, no. Purple power. That's oh, good. We're showing yeah, our yeah. age will be good. <laughs> so, but it's always fun, too. You know, nonprofits that can have some fun, but actually make a difference. So, come and join us. Ask the questions if you have them. And thank you. Thank you, Sherry Watson, thank for being you. my friend. And thank you for being a service hero for day number 50. Woo, I day love number 50, it. five zero, day. yay, yeah. of 365 days of awesome. Celebrate success through service. All right, so we have just officially closed number 50, and Woo. I am so excited, yay. Throw a party and throw some, you know, confetti over it, okay? All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you guys in <laughs> Vegas, baby. Yeah, bye. Baby, yeah. <laughs>